Hello and welcome back to Paradox Computing. So here we are, back in our testing for underground testing facility. It's barely underground, really. And we're coming back to look at the mining turtles. And today we're actually going to look at the program I've developed for turtle quarrying. So as you can see, we've already excavated a rather large area. Um, yeah, this is pretty huge and we've got a lot of stuff out of it. Wow, and that, that guy just went flying, didn't he? Bon voyage! Um, so yeah, um, this was a pretty massive quarry, and that's actually only half of it. And this was all done, as you can kind of tell by the grooves on the ceiling, by, um, by my, uh, quarrying turtles. So, um, and you see on the other side here, it's also pretty decent, yeah. Um, and we got a lot of stuff out of that, probably about, oh, 30 diamonds worth of gear, I would estimate at least. Um, yeah, fair bit. So these guys, they do work quite well as quarries, um, and they're pretty easy to set up once you get the program installed. So um, let's do that before we set this guy off. Um, just really quickly, this isn't probably the most interesting part. You'll probably hear more for the programming and stuff, but um, let's just get that done. Let's just get it done. And then we'll set him off, and then we can start looking through the program on a different robot. So, uh, when I say robot, I mean turtle. Um, so, he's going to dig the spot out underneath him. At the moment, there's actually nothing, because um, I kind of just wanted to go across a couple first. But, that's okay. Um, so, um, he's going to dig out that slot, so he's going to need to deposit things here. So, the obsidian pipe, which will collect things up off the ground, needs to go there. And then um, behind that, we can put a... We can just put teleport pipe. I did have it previously um, pumping into a chest, but nuts to that. So um, we'll just set this to the correct frequency, which I had set to 42. There's no need for it to receive or anything, and just the standard teleport pipe will work fine. Um, and we'll dump some redstone engines around this sucker. Um, there we go. Probably just need to put a block... Um, up on the ceiling here, so we can power that, um, actually, is that, that's not even going to work there, is it, um, oh well, uh, sorry, this is real interesting, isn't it, but we'll see how we get the pipe set up, uh, it's necessary, so, and actually pretty quick, um, that's not where you want it at all, <laughs> it's completely the wrong place, um, I don't think that being there's going to, oh yeah, powers both of those guys, good, that one powers that there, sweet. So now um, our item teleports up and running. So, oh, as you can see, it, yeah, okay. I uh, don't know if you actually had a chance to see that. It works so quickly. Um, so if we just throw this on the ground and should, okay, if I don't pick it up, maybe that's why. Oh, whoops, wrong thing. Oh my God, Q, throw it, throw it on the ground. And as you can probably see though, <laughs> oh my God, how am I failing so hard at this? Come on, pick it up. Pick it up for the viewers, and then you can see it in the pipe. Ugh, trust me, the pipe picked it up. So that's um that's connected on the other end just to a um a condenser, so everything that goes in is just gonna get condensed. So let's set this guy off. Um now we'll go through the program as it runs. So um you get asked why I'm putting ladders there. Well, I'm probably getting a little ahead of myself. Okay, this program will make the turtle quarry out an area of your choosing. If you wanted to build a ladder, put ladders in the top left slot and type yes when asked. The turtle will spit out what he has mined one block behind where he is now. One block behind him, not you. Try an obsidian pipe to collect what he spits on the floor. Shall I place a ladder? Typing yes. And then how many blocks to my right shall I quarry? We're going to go for a 10 by 10 quarry, so we're going to say 10 to your right. How many blocks in front of me shall I quarry? So that's how many blocks in front of him shall I quarry. We're going to say again to go 10. So this is a 10 by 10, 100 square block uh, quarry. And here he goes. And um, now as you can see before, we asked him to put a ladder down. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's going to build a ladder down to bedrock. Now, if I know there's not blocks in there at the moment, but as you can see, I wanted to get all this stuff as well. So um, we're going to let him build that ladder down. Um, and this is probably useful if you, you know, don't fly or whatever. Um, so for the early game and everything. Um, yeah. To, or you're not using equivalent exchange. Um, very handy. Just to be able to build a ladder all the way down. Um, and if he was digging out, that would be fine. He'd just break the blocks and place the ladder. Um, so we'll see him come back up soon and start depositing stuff. Um, 
And yeah, but in the meantime, let's see how we got him to do all of this. Um, so I need, that's just a regular turtle. I need one of our mining turtles. Jesus, how many mining turtles have I got now? Um, so we'll put this one down. Um, and where will we want him to dig? I'm thinking we're probably going to want him to dig around. Well, maybe we'll have him dig out here. Maybe what I should do is... Oh, well. Let's look at the program first. And then we'll look at um, how we're going to actually get him to dig. Um, actually, and also, let's just dig... Let's get... Actually, let's leave him there and grab another one. Um, there we go. Well, there's... I'll put, down, I'll put him down here so we can actually see this guy come up and... Um, do his thing. So, quarry. Uh, let's edit the quarry program. Now, this quarry program is probably, it's uh, well over 100 lines of code, so we're not going to get through all of it in one episode. Um, I'd rather not have the whole thing go on for too long. So, um, this is going to be in bits. Uh, it's very, it's pretty complicated. You're kind of thinking in um, functions inside of functions and stuff. It's, it's functception. It's, um... A bit crazy, so bear with me. I'm going to try and explain it all the best as I can. I'm going to skip over stuff from um, that we've covered in previous episodes. So if you've got any questions, you can probably find answers in previous episodes or post in the comments and um, I'll get back to you. We'll have one of our people get back to you real soon. Cool. So here we go. So term.clear, uh, set cursor pause. Let's just clear the screen. Cursor to the top left-hand side. Um, these are a bunch of variables, which will make sense later. Um, okay, so here's our, func our first function, uh, which is func function, which tells the um, turtle to go down. So this is what gets him down to bedrock, and actually placing the ladders in there as well. Um, so this will get him to go down to bedrock and determine pretty much when he's hit bedrock. So we've got uh, turtle.select slot 1, so I just want to make sure he's got slot 1 selected. Um, so, oh, here we go. So he's just come up. He's finally started actually digging. Um, so, uh, do you want to see him digging? We'll do it real quick. Here we go. So this is what he actually does. Um, as you can see, he managed to build this ladder all the way down, probably until he hit lava where the, uh, the ladders don't fare so well. Oh, also, well, uh, he couldn't have placed anything there anyway. Um, cool. So, um, he's digging down. He's just going to do his thing. And once he gets filled up, his inventory gets filled up, he'll come up and return, uh, return that stuff. Very cool. Um, so, oh, let's hit the ground, there we go. Um, here we go, so this is what tells him to dig down to bedrock and determine it. So, um, turtle dot select slot 1, select slot 1, uh, just to make sure we're going to have slot 9 selected, because uh, the moment he um, detects anything in slot 9, he's going to come back and um, empty his inventory. And if we constantly had slot 9 selected, well, he'd come back every time he dug up one thing. So we're telling him to select slot 1. Um, we're creating a new result. Now, that's actually something new, so we'll um, we'll go into that in a second. Um, Total.digdown is um, break the block underneath him, obviously. Um, so result is equal to turtle.down. So he's broken the block underneath him and now we need to make sure there's actually gone down so when he tries to um, execute the function of turtle dot down which is actually physically moved down in the world um, we're going to get either a true or false um, result for that now if um, okay so that's ge generated our true or false now we're also going to assign um, the variable of b to slot 9 so we're going to see what's in slot 9 now if B is greater than 1, so if we actually have anything in slot B, um, sorry, in sorry, in slot 9, uh, B is equal to slot 9, um, then throw up a fail, add 1 to, um, to Y, which is, oh, actually that's, sorry, this is something I really should have explained before starting, um, and it's going to make everything a lot more, make a lot more sense if I do. We've got the turtle traveling on three axes. So as you can see this guy right now, he's traveling um, right now. So going down is going down is on the um, Y axis. And you probably didn't need to go down that far to demonstrate that point. So he's currently going down on the Y axis. So we're keeping track of Y. Um, he's been, so far we've seen him moving across left on the X axis. So from his starting position of uh, here at the ladder, um, he's moved across on the x-axis, uh, four blocks so far, I think. One, two, three, four, yep. Um, and then we're also keeping track of the y-axis, which is the one coming out in front of him. At the moment, he hasn't really traveled along that at all. I mean, we 
yeah, he digs two blocks at a time. Um, so I guess you would say he's two blocks long on the y-axis. Um, so yeah, so those is, that's how we're keeping track of his position. That's also how we're um, telling him how far to go and stuff. So yes, hope that makes sense. Um, now let's uh, keep working on this little guy. Um, so here we are. Here we are. Where were we? So yes, we've signed up. We're checking out what's in slot nine. Um, if, um, if there's anything in slot 9, we're going to generate a fail. So we're going to say, um, fail is equal to fail plus 1. So we have one fail, the moment he knows there's anything in slot 9. Now, what we, this is because we don't, as soon as he gets anything into slot 9, we want him to come back and empty his inventory. It's important because if, say I have a full inventory right now, if I break a block, um, and there's nothing like that in my inventory already, then it's just going to sit there on the ground. And he's exactly the same. So even though we're not getting a full stack in there, um, the fact is while he's digging, while there's something in every in every slot, we run the risk of losing things, possibly diamonds, etc., or something quite valuable. So we don't want that. So we're telling him to come back the moment there's anything in slot 9. So I'll be checking slot 9 quite a lot. Um, so that's when he's going to throw up a fail. Um, else another if is um if the result is equal to true so that was the result of if our turtle's able to go down or not um so if our turtle was actually able to go down after he dug out the space and moved down um then we're going to add one to y y which is keeping track of our depth we're going to add one to depth as well which is the second variable we're using to keep track of our depth um completely unnecessarily but um i might just have it there for future features but at the moment it's actually not currently needed um we're going to total select one which is total select uh, the slot one um and we're going to total dot dig um which is Turtle.dig, uh, so sorry, we're selecting slot 1 because we have been checking slot 9. So I just want to make sure he's using slot 1 before he, you know, yeah. Um, and so we're going to say, uh, yeah, turtle.dig. Now turtle.dig breaks the slot, in f uh, the block in front of him. So turtle.dig is in front, turtle.dig down is the block underneath, turtle.dig up is the block above. You get the idea. Now, we've got a new if statement in here. Now this is what deals with our ladders. So if I is equal to yes, then, and I, th yeah, well, basically I is going to be the user input. So this is, we're looking for the user to type yes. If I is equal to yes, then, um, turtle dot select slot two and to, what? Hold on one second. That shouldn't just be if I is equal to yes. It's supposed to be if I is equal to yes and, what the hell? And L is equal to one. Oh, yo, why? Uh, duh, I'm an idiot, because I edited it on that other computer. What we actually need here is... Um, oh, bugger, yes, this program's a little out of date. Only slightly. Mm, but yes, I have updated it on um, on this turtle that's running at the moment compared to this guy, and I'm just wondering if it's worth... Um, if it is worth uh, copying the program across, and to be honest, it probably is... Um, how do I do this? Look at this guy go. What a little trooper. Uh, we do need to be seeing the program on him, so I'm going to get him to, uh, terminate what he's doing by pushing and holding Control T. Um, and we're going to just, um, well, tell you what, this video has probably been a good little introduction to the quarry one. It's been a bit brief, but that's, uh, that's good for, you know, upload size. <laughs> um, so what I'll do is I'll get the, the most, everything we've seen up to now has been exactly the same. So that's fine. We'll pick the program up, uh, in the next video. Uh, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. I very much appreciate it. Um, we'll get this guy, um... Yeah, we'll get the program updated on our other turtles, which will be fine. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll keep going through the program. We'll set this guy off again so you can see how he's doing. And, um, yeah, so it's all good. Nothing is fucked here, dude. Stick around for the next episode. Should be fun. Thanks for watching, guys.